doing great. We're doing great. Uh, what make is the hex beam? Who makes the hex beam? Over. I think it's G D uh, uh, yeah G W G E or something like that. Uh, boy, I'm having a brain fart myself there. Uh, I know who you're talking about. They, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he does work, I think, for uh, MFG also, uh, because I think he's the one that uh, did my uh, hex beam I got sitting in a garage there, the 1848. They use his this design. Uh, Boy, I can't remember his call sign either there, but, uh, oh, well, I remember later when I'm not talking to you no more. That, uh, that's the way it always happens there, William Howard. Kilo, K2TRD, operator name is Martin, Mike Alpha, Romeo Tango, India, November. Mike, Mike Zero, India, Hotel Kilo, K2TRD, over. Yeah, K2TRD, Martin, yes, it's Murray. We've spoke before, Mike, Oscar, Romeo, Alpha, Yankee. Uh, we spoke when I was portable, Martin. I'm actually uh, at the home QTH now, but you're coming through very, very strong here. 5-9 uh, plus 20, 5-9 plus 20 on the peaks. Uh, and running a Kodan commercial transceiver, and I'm running a half-wave NFED, uh, vertical polarised uh, resonant for the band, Martin, over. That's correct, Martin, that's correct. Yeah, that would have been the, the Klansman 320, the Klansman 320, and I was probably uh, portable on a mountaintop, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were coming in good, I remember. We had a pretty good long queue so there, Mary, so uh, very nice. Now, if I remember right, uh, don't, uh, don't you uh, design radios for the military or uh, something in that nature, over? Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually a software engineering manager. We do um, medical device software for um, heart monitoring. But uh, no, uh, not not on the, the military radios. I do collect military radios. Um, I've got quite a few. Uh, and I've got a, sort of a YouTube channel that I've got a few videos on. And uh, if you check my QRZ page out, you'll see a few of the the military radios there, Mark Martin. But it's good to hear you. Um, I, I was been listening for... Um, probably um, the last 30 minutes and uh, your signal hasn't dropped whatsoever and in fact it's actually got stronger over yeah it normally gets stronger around 3 30 4 o'clock in the afternoon here uh, and then i talk into europe until around 22 20 utc time until i talked about everybody that's able to get back across and then i use a qrx and qrt off frequency uh, Mary, but uh, you're pretty steady. You're five and nine steady. Uh, so tell me, uh, how many watts are you running now? Yeah, I'm running a 125, 125 watts. That's it. Uh, I'm using a Kodan, which is an Australian uh, commercial radio. It's a Kodan uh, November Golf Tango Victor Romeo, an NGT VR uh, Kodan. Um, and all I'm using is a half-wave NFED vertical, but it's a very good um, DX, DX antenna, Martin. It's uh, got a very low angle of radiation, um, and it's a homemade one. I've made it myself, made the coupler, uh, and it's just uh, attached to a fiberglass pole, uh, and the coupler's about one and a half meters off the ground. Over. Well, it sounds beautiful. Uh, there's no RF, crystal clean audio. Uh, so everything sounds great. And you're like me. I see you're in the dungeon there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all my radio rooms always are. It's in the dungeon. Even at my last QTH, I was in the basement, too. Uh, I'm in the basement now. This used to have a hot tub in this room, actually. I pulled the hot tub out of here <laughs> so I could uh, build a radio room in here instead. Uh, so I had a six-man hot tub in this room. And they already had the nice big 220 lines running in here for amplifiers. So uh, I rewired everything in here. Re and I got an extra 220 line now. I got to run the second 220 line in here. So I could have two. Uh, I figure having two uh, 220 lines uh, in here would be good. Uh, right now I just got one, but it's, uh, it's the only one. That's, the only thing that's on is the amplifier. Uh, and I have another spare one. 
uh, this house here, they put a lot of breakers in it. I don't know what they were going to do with the other uh, 220s <laughs> uh, breakers, but uh, they put so many of them in here, and uh, they didn't even use them all. So I'll put them to use <laughs> by pulling out the hot tub. Because I don't believe I need a hot tub inside the house. That should be outside anyway. Most people have hot tubs outside and not inside there, Murray. But a beautiful single. Still working at an element TA7 Yankee point in your direction. And a kilowatt into that uh, 7 element TA7 that's mounted on the side of the mountain with 400 meters of elevation here, Murray. Mike Mike Zero in the uh, Hotel Kilo, K2TRD. Yeah, K2 TRD, Mike, Mike, Zero, India, Hotel Kilo, returning. Yeah, no problem there, Martin, uh, all copied. Uh, yeah, uh, all my radio equipment is out in the garage. Uh, not permanent, um, unfortunately. I normally uh, set up the radios. I've got so many radios, Martin, I, I just don't know which one to use next, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's getting a little bit out of hand. But um, interesting, you've, you had a hot tub in the, the basement. Were you ever... Uh, in the hot tub and transmitting at the same time, Martin, over. <laughs> well, I don't think I'd be talking to you if I was doing that. My hair would be standing straight up on end, and probably my toes would be curled along oh, with other parts of the body. <laughs> <laughs> now, I pulled the hot tub right out of here so I could uh, put the uh, radio room in here, and I see my dogs came downstairs. So they're down here, and they're going to come in here, and they want to get pet. And uh, as long as they don't shut my computer off, because they got a habit of brushing against the power switch on the computer, over. Yeah, QSL, Martin, QSL. Um, I, I'm actually recording this on a, a short video. I hope you don't mind. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably upload this onto my YouTube um, channel. I don't actually publish it, but um, I'll, I'll not make it public, and I'll send you the link. If, if you've got your, um, your QRZ email address, uh, Martin, over. people post uh, some videos on that uh, YouTube of me and they were sending links there. Uh, I had a couple other people, uh, uh, 905 Bravo Zulu, my friend down there, uh, he did that and they sent me a link too, he posted one up on that. Uh, somebody else did too with me talking to uh, uh, Sierra 51 David X Ray Giannis. And uh, Gianni is the uh, 905 Bravo Zulu who posted it. Uh, they always send me links here <laughs> uh, when they are uh, doing uh, videos there. So, yes, I appreciate it, Mario. Over, over. Yeah, QSL, uh, Martin. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'll uh, upload it just so you can hear the audio. I mean, you sound really good and, and you can see the radio I'm using. Uh, it's nothing special. This is a. Uh, uh, not one of the military ones, not the, one of the more interesting ones, but it's a, a Kodan and it's a very good transceiver and I, and I get very good audio reports on it, Martin, over. <clears throat> oh yeah, it sounds good. And I can hear it's got a Roger beep in it. You <laughs> don't hear those uh, too often anymore with Roger beeps, over. Yeah, well, you can actually turn that off, Martin, but um, I was going to turn it off and then someone told me not to bother because they thought it was a good idea. Uh, especially if I'm coming in weak, so um, I left it on. I hope it's not too annoying. I've I've never actually heard the Roger beep, so I don't even know what it sounds like, to be honest. Over. <clears throat> yeah, it's got a little high pitch. <laughs> it goes off there, uh, Larry. Uh, but I, I'm not used to hearing them anymore. <laughs> Nobody uses them anymore. So uh, every time you're on key there, and I kept hearing the Roger beep, it reminded me back uh, uh, years and years and years ago when everybody. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, QSL, yeah. You probably thought I was on a CB radio there, uh, Martin, over. <laughs> <laughs> what it, uh, like a Connex mm. or uh, the old General Lee's or uh, uh, the 
RCI radios, things that don't cost too much money. So if you burn that one up, if you run an FM, uh, it's not too bad. Well, you know, I, I, when I'm doing a two-meter FM at 40 centimeters and stuff like that,